If you're looking for a change in career, we might have something that might interest you here. We're up at Police HQ and it's time to take an intake again into the police. Although, of course, there's been less this year. This is just the, the one intake, isn't it, Adrian? That's correct. We're looking for between six and eight officers to uh, start a new job in January 2013. And Blair, you, you came in last year, so what was it like? Tell, go, I know you've got a sort of boss here, <laughs> what was it like? Um, I'd be lying if I said it was easy. Um, it was an intense 17 weeks. Um, in fact, it was an intense recruitment process, but um, it's worth it in the end. And uh, I mean, there have been a lot of people fighting for these jobs, haven't they? So uh, what's, what's the feeling like when you actually get through? It's unbelievable, to be honest. I remember receiving the phone call. And I actually thought it was a family member winding me up because I know how many I know how many people want to be police officers, and as you know, the situation in the UK is horrendous to get a job in the police. Yeah. So I'm really fortunate to be here. Okay, Adrian, we'll, we'll sell it. I mean, it, it's not for everybody, but you have a sort of try before you buy event. You're looking at them; they're looking at you. What sort of person goes to join the police these days? That's a very difficult one. We're looking for all sorts of people. We're looking for people who are flexible. Uh, honest, hard working, able to communicate with people. Um, it, it's such a wide and varied job that we need a wide and varied type of person to come and work with us. It's back in what, 07, I think, when, when recruitment was brought back onto the Alabama and the training was done here. We've got some pictures of some of those recruits who are now going through the system. But since then, you were taking on a lot of people. Now it has been cut back a bit. Is that making it better or worse for you to find the right sort of person? Over the last few years, we've put in place a really sort of stringent uh, recruitment policy uh, process. Uh, so we look at people, we look at a fitness test, we then look at a classroom assessment where they come and uh, we look at their communication skills, we interview them, see what they think on, what they know about the community, uh, what, what, how they think the p community itself should be policed. Uh, we then, if they're successful there, we'll take them to Ardwallen, um, which is a 12-hour assessment, which is quite a, a full-on <laughs> process where the well, interviews <laughs> we take them out into the hills a really enjoyable day but the, you know the pressure is really uh, put on because we're looking we can't take people onto uh, the streets of Douglas at three o'clock on a on a Friday night so we've got to look at other ways of getting them tired putting them uh, under pressure so we're trying uh, as much as we can replicate um, the pressures of uh, policing in the real world. I'm slightly chuckling because I've seen the process as well, you know, and uh, it, it is, that's the thing, it's a, it's a bit of stress, isn't it, to, to be, see how you, re you react under the, the physical stress and also put, put some mental down, mind games going on as well. Very much so. Well, it's, it's hard when you're dealing uh, with incidents that happen, you, you've got to think on your feet, you've got to be able to react to stuff. So we've got to look at ways to try and assess people, how they react under that sort of pressure. So like I said, we can't, we can't take people and put them in the middle of a, a melee on Douglas Promenade, <laughs> but we can, we can put them under pressure in other ways. You're, you're nodding your head there. What was it like for you? Yeah, um, the recruitment uh, was really intense, to be honest. Um, Ardwallen, um, it was, it's just a test completely of physically, mentally, and you are put under pressure, but to be honest, at the time it might seem it's a bit, it's a bit much, but when you get out there on the street, you kind of come to terms as to why you've been put under that pressure, because it is like that in day-to-day -day policing at times. Okay, well, how many people will you be looking for? We're looking for between six and eight. Um, we want people from the island, from within the community. We want to keep the island a safe place to live. So people have got to care about the community that they, they live in and be a part of that as well as policing it. And if they want more information? Contact either myself or Jane McCann um, on headquarters or best place to look is on the uh, DHA government website and there's details on there, uh, phone numbers, there's an application pack and there's uh, all the information that anybody would need.